In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create teleporters. So the first thing is we're just going to be using, well, let's change it up. I'm going to use flat terrain, but I'm not going to do any uh, terrain terraining today. So I'm just going to use this as just basically a play area. Now, before we begin, I need to use a spawn location on to my flat terrain because if I click on the play button basically there's my avatar and my avatar is just gonna spawn into the middle of the area basically it's gonna fall until it reaches the bottom so I just want to stop this so what I want to do now is I want to go to my workspace and I'm just going to click on this arrow here because we have more than one object in our workspace. So I'm just going to click on the add object icon. Basically, it's here right next to the workspace, this icon. And I'm going to click that and I'm going to select spawn location. And there you see I have my spawn location set up right over here, which is good enough. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert uh, a block part into our flat terrain. The way you can do that is basically you go to insert and you're going to click right here where you see this cube. You're going to click that and there you see that there is a block part right here. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my scale tool and I am going to drag these blue spears uh, basically to create a large, a large square platform. Now, the way you can do that is basically if your mouse is over the, uh, the spear right here, as you can see, it's not glowing, but if I move my mouse over, you can see that my mouse changes to a hand and I can drag these spears to enlarge my block part. So I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button and I'm just gonna drag the red and the blue spears. And there you see that I have a nice big gray uh, square. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the color and the material. So I'm just going to go to color and I'm going to select any type of color that I want. So I just go ahead and select uh, toothpaste and I'm going to select the material and I'm going to change this into neon. And then let's look too far away. So let me just use my move tool and just like we deal with the um, with the scale tool. Move your mouse over the uh, the arrows where the mouse cursor changes it to a hand, and just drag the teleporter. And I'm gonna drag it a little bit more closer, and that's good enough. Next thing I'm gonna do is first let me go ahead and change the name for part. And the way you can do that is if you select part. You can do this in your properties. Just click on data right here and move down. You can see name and I'm going to change this to teleport one. So that's our original teleporter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this teleporter where I have a second one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on teleport and I'm going to select duplicate. And there you see that my uh, teleporter has been stacked right on top of the original one. So I'm just going to move that one and I'm going to place it right down here. And I'm going to rename this to teleport now I'm going to change the color of this teleporter and I'm going to select the different colors here and let me just select let's just say let's just say lime green there we go 
So now I have two teleporters in here. So right now what I need to do and make sure to uh, have my teleporters uh, work, I need scripts. So I'm just going to select uh, this teleport first. I'm just going to click on the uh, add icon and I'm going to select script. Now, as you can see, uh, once I've added my script into my teleporter, it has print hello world, which means um, basically it's going to print out a message right below here in my output window, which says hello world. I don't want hello world anymore, so we can just go ahead and delete that. And right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start scripting this teleporter. So basically, what I need to do first is create a function. I'm going to create a function, and I'm just going to name it touching teleporter. And in the parentheses, I'm going to put, uh, let's just say, part. And then click, I'm going to type enter or hit the enter button and it creates end. And now we can start typing inside our function. So I'm going to create an if statement if part dot parent dot humanoid. A little squiggly line here equals nil, then hit enter. And then inside that if statement, I'm going to type parent or not parent, but part dot parent move to script dot parent dot parent dot teleport, let's say uh, to dot position. Then below that, we'll type script dot parent dot parent dot teleport to dot script. Actually, let's, yeah, yeah. Teleport to dot script dot disabled equals true. Wait. For two seconds and then script dot parent dot parent dot teleport to dot script dot disabled equals false. So this is all what we need from lines one to eight and on line number nine, I'm going to type in script.parent.touch because we want our character to touch on it, connect, and in the parentheses, it's gonna to be touching teleporter, the function that we have added. So this is all we need for our first teleporter. So we're going on that one, but I need the same script for the teleport too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this script and I'm going to paste it into the teleport too. And I'm going to change some things around. I'm only going to change around is the, uh, the names. Basically I'm going to change teleport two to teleport one. And there we have it. So now I am ready to test my teleporters. So when I touch here, it moves me to my green teleporter and my blue teleporter. So watch. There you see it. So we know that my teleporters are working. So what I'm going to run over here, go back, run 
here from that. So yeah, my teleporters now work. So we are good with that. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Be sure to join Tech Dev Academy's workshops and camps and also read some great articles on their blog page.